on the same day where he posted videos of himself selling Bibles for $59.99, Donald Trump also posted this ranting, raving, typo-ridden, I don't even know what you're going to call this, filled with lies. I mean, he's clearly having a cognitive breakdown, folks. Don't believe me? I show you the other videos of him all the time, so you should, but let's just take a look at what he posted. He goes, I'm not running to terminate the ACA as crooked Joe Budden disinformates and misinformates all the time, in caps, I'm running to close the border, stop inflation, make our economy great, strengthen our military, and make the ACA or Obamacare, as it is known, much better and stronger and far less expensive. In other words, make the ACA much, much, much better for far less money. Well, that's interesting because you've always talked about terminating the ACA. And while you were in office, all you said over and over again is just wait two weeks. There's going to be a plan. Wait two weeks. There's going to be a plan. Just in two weeks, it's coming. Healthcare plan's coming. Infrastructure week is coming. But we don't even have to go back when you were disgracing the Oval Office. How about what you said on November 25th, 2023, when you wrote, the cost of Obamacare is out of control, plus it's not good health care. I'm seriously looking at alternatives. We had a couple of Republican senators who campaigned for six years against it and then raised their hand not to terminate it. It was a low point for the Republican Party, but we should never give up, exclamation point. And you see the underlying word that we should never give up trying to terminate it. And he's talking about when uh, the late great Senator John McCain, the Republican, did not support the effort to repeal Obamacare. The Biden-Harris campaign uh, came back with a very strongly worded post in response to Donald Trump saying what he just said. And uh, here's what the Biden-Harris campaign wrote. A feeble and confused Trump post a typo-riddled, all-caps rant misspelling Biden, disinforms, misinforms, and other basic words. And then there was um, a video that the Biden campaign put out. Let me share it for you right here where they showed a lot of times where Donald Trump said that he was going to terminate the Affordable Care Act over and over again. Let's If the Supreme Court ends this Obamacare, um, well, we've got to see what happens. It's got a ways to go. I mean, we'll see what happens. I think, I think it'll end. Uh, I think, I, I hope that they end. It'll be so good if they end. We've done a great job, but we're going to be getting rid of it entirely. But that Obamacare is a disaster. Okay, and I told the Republicans, I said, look, if you really want to do something, just let it explode, and then they'll come begging us to fix it. Okay, begging. This is a newer subject, but Obamacare is a disaster. And I said, we're going to we're going to do something about it. We're going to win by knocking the hell out of Obamacare, terminating it, coming up with something much less expensive, much better. We are going to win in every aspect of our lives. Your administration is, is backing a lawsuit to invalidate the Affordable Care Act. And given that people are losing their jobs now and need health care more than ever, would you consider rethinking your position on that? Well, that's a lawsuit coming out of Texas again. That was headed up by Texas. And what we want to do is uh, get rid of the bad health care and put in a great health care. But it could be much better than it is. And so what we want to do is terminate it. And then going back to Donald Trump's statement as well that you heard me read, whatever that even was, the typo riddled, bizarre, very, very and just gaslighting over and over again. Let's also reflect upon what Donald Trump did when Democrats and reasonable Republicans came together to try to address the issue at the border, right? There, they were trying to come up with solutions. You had Republican Senator James Lankford from Oklahoma. You don't get more conservative than James Lankford. And he was the expert on immigration policy and border control policies. So Democrats and Joe Biden, President Biden said, look, Langford, Senator Langford from Oklahoma, we'll let you lead this process and we'll let you have your wish list because 
we need a compromise as well. We recognize there are issues at the border. We also want to make sure there could be funding in Ukraine. And the Republicans, your colleagues, say they won't fund Ukraine unless there is a compromise with the border. So bet, we'll do it. Let's go. And then Donald Trump killed it. And Donald Trump said that it would be a winning issue for him for there to be chaos. Then he gave speeches bragging about it as well. Here, let's play this clip. But you give illegal taxpayer-funded lawyers, so they have millions of dollars in this agreement, in this deal, which we, by the way, killed. I think we killed it. I think it's dead. But you can never say it because bad bills always come back to life because these guys make a lot of money with bad bills. But they give millions, tens of millions of dollars, it's down there, to lawyers to represent the illegal immigrants that come into our country. It's, it's not even believable. So there you have Donald Trump bragging about killing a bipartisan border deal. Also, we can listen to Donald Trump's own words, whether it's bragging about killing a bipartisan border deal where people are trying to come up with productive solutions, where Donald Trump's own words where he says, terminate the Affordable Care Act and how he attacks Republicans who didn't terminate the Affordable Care Act. Just think about that for a moment, what the chaos that would have caused for tens of millions of Americans, 30, 40 plus million Americans rely on the Affordable Care Act. Over 100 million Americans have been benefited by, in some way by the health care policies of former President Obama and now President Biden, whether it's reducing the cost of insulin and other prescription drug prices, whether it's making, uh, whether it's having a negotiation with all of the pharmaceutical companies for Medicare to lower prices as well. I mean, tangible things that are making a difference in your life. And also the, the, the way President Biden helped veterans health care as well. Um, but the, the Republicans, just last week, the Republican study group said this is what they want in their budget. So this is basically the Republican leadership. This isn't years ago. This is MAGA Mike Johnson and leadership in the, in, uh, the House of Representatives. And here's what they had to say. The House Republicans released their U.S. budget countering the Biden administration's proposal. In the GOP budget, it cuts $1.5 trillion from Social Security. It raises Medicare costs and cuts caps on pharma fees. It cuts Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. Um, it uh, also creates $5.5 trillion in tax cuts for the rich and corporations. It eliminates all clean energy tax incentives. It raises the Social Security retirement age to 69. And the President uh, Biden's administration put out a statement, a statement from President Joe Biden on the Republican Study Committee, Committee. And it says the following, my dad has an expression, don't tell me what you value, show me your budget and I'll tell you what you value. The Republican Study Committee budget shows what Republicans value. This extreme budget will cut Medicare, Social Security, and the Affordable Care Act. It endorses a national abortion ban. The Republican budget will raise housing costs and prescription drug costs for families and will shower giveaways on the wealthy and biggest corporations. Let me be clear, I will stop them. My budget represents a different future, one where the days of trickle-down economics are over and the wealthy and the biggest corporations no longer get all the breaks. A future where we restore the right to choose and protect other freedoms, not take them away. A future where the middle class finally has a fair shot and we protect social security so the working people who built this country can retire with dignity. I see a future for all Americans and I will never stop fighting for that future. It's President Biden's statement. So you take that and you compare that to Donald Trump's post where Donald Trump in caps goes, I'm not running to terminate the ACA as crooked Joe Budden disinformates and misinformates all the time. Come on, come on people. And again, here's Donald Trump in his own words saying to terminate, play this clip. But what we are doing is we wanna terminate healthcare for under Obamacare because it's bad. And then finally, here's the video that we created at the Midas Touch Network where Donald Trump talked about just wait two weeks for his plans, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's healthcare, just two weeks, two weeks, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. President Biden gets it done, but Donald Trump just says, two weeks, two weeks, give me two more weeks, two more weeks. Just all a grift, it's all I hear, play this clip. When we win on November 8th, 
We will be able to immediately repeal and replace Obamacare. My first day in office, I'm going to ask Congress to put a bill on my desk. I hope we're going to surprise you with a really good plan. You're going to end up with great health care for a fraction of the price, and that's going to take place immediately after we go in, okay? Immediately. On my first day, you're going to be very proud of what we put forth having to do with health care. I know that we're all going to make a deal on health care. That's such an easy one. Form a really great plan. You've been in office three and a half years. You don't have a plan. Well, we haven't had. Uh, excuse me. You heard me yesterday. We're signing a health care plan within two weeks. A full and complete health care plan. I've been saying this for a long time. So, folks, there you have it. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers. If you like the type of content we have here, you may like True Crime MTN as well, a new channel we're launching on YouTube. Just search True Crime MTN. I know you wanted some hot takes outside of politics. David Arenberg is leading that channel. True Crime MTN. Have a great one. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Micellis and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable those who threaten our democracy. Thanks, Midas Mighty. Let's use our power well.